Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than 500 days, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to discuss the newest additions to the game, one of my favorite features which is Warped feature and finally we have some new Warpets in the game which look kinda amazingly, um, I will try to look at it and yeah they are like cavalry and marksmen uh, Warpets which looks kinda really really interesting and I think it will bring a lot of diversity into the game right? Uh, it's a manticores right and one is uh, cavalry which is blade manticore and second one is shadow manticore for marksman right as a marksman player i'm always excited whenever i see uh, new warpets in the game and yeah i hope these warpets are going to be meta because well it's been a while since we got new warpets in the game right uh, so first one i will try to look at the shadow manticore because that's a, a warpet for the uh, marksmen, right? And I will try to tell you guys how good this warpit will be. Uh, the main uh, uh, like skill for the Shadow Manticore is, um, let me get it, it will be here. It's Barbarism, right? Deals damage to the target legion and receives healing. Well, honestly, if it was like only deals damage to the target, it would be like pretty average in my opinion. But simply because it receives healing, it gives this warpet really, really wide range of usage, right? Like, for example, newest uh, archer hero pair, which is Magrat and Zyda, they love healing, right? So I think uh, Shadow Manticore will work perfectly fine with that hero pair. In terms of other skills, well, there is Advanced Barbarism. The warpet has 80% chance to deal additional damage to the target when healed by a hero skill, right? Well, that's interesting simply because it gives Magrot and Zyda even better look, right? And determined by strength and skill damage factor, well, we can see how much it is. In terms of intense barbarism, barbarism direct damage in percentage to luck. And as we can see, luck and strength should be the primary uh, like attributes for this hero for this warpit, right? Uh, I think this is a really, really strong warpit, especially for Magrot and Zyda. I think this will work amazingly well with that hero pair. A lot of healing. You are getting healing from Magrat by itself, and Advanced Barbarism works perfectly well uh, with the Magrat as a like healing factor, right? In terms of like building, how you should, how you are going to build this warpit? Well, I think uh, there is like couple of easy choices. Like for example, Chain Strike. I would skip intense chain strike, but I would get advanced chain strike. Like chain strike is great skill because it has a 50% chance to deal additional damage when dealing physical normal attack damage. And well, with Magrot and Zyda, I think you are going to deal a lot of normal attack damage, right? And it's determined by agility. Advanced chain strike, healing rate, amazing for this that hero pair, and I think it will work uh, perfectly fine uh, with the. Shadow Manticore and Magrot and Zyda. In terms of crit, I think crit is a great uh, thing to have on the Warpet and uh, Blood Roar is great. Crit rate, it's a chance, like additional chance in percentages uh, to crit while dealing damage by normal attack. I think that will be also a great addition. Like anything with crit rate is great and plus uh, crit damage at the end if you have high crit rate on your Warpet. Fatal Bite crit rate damage will be totally fine on this Warpit. In general, I think uh, the building of Shadow Manticore is pretty easy. Uh, Shadow Manticore should be the uh, choice for Magrot and Zyda. Chain Strike, Advanced Chain Strike, Blood Roar, Fatal Bite, and yeah, I think that's the main skills which you want to have on your Shadow Manticore. In terms of uh, core skills, I think... Uh, intense barbarism and advanced barbarism are must because it kind of gives a lot of damage right uh, damage dealt in percentages plus same attribute as barbarism luck right and in terms of skills chain strike and advanced chain strike are agility which means we are not spending any important attributes and well you can add bl blood roar because it's luck and uh, well that's that will be it right because we know that you can have only three skills of the same attribute i think this warpet will be amazing and let's try to find out the 
uh, appropriate hero pairs which will work amazingly well with Shadow Manticore. I think number one choice should be Magroth and Zayda. That should be the priority in my opinion. Uh, because, well, you are getting healing uh, from the Magroth. You are getting, in general, with Magroth and Zayda, if you have healing, you are dealing a lot of damage, right? Plus, every single skill set this hero pair has, it just gives you more healing. Healing received 20, 20%. Amazing uh, or Magrat main skill when you are getting healed, so you are getting additional damage, um, attack bonus, HP bonus. Well, I think, uh, well, here healing factor, but unfortunately, it's for the garrison. Well, I think this uh, Magrat and Zyda should be amazing for Shadow Manticore. Uh, second choice, I would say, uh, so far, we are still waiting for new Archer heroes, but um. Syndrion and Fragar should benefit with Shadow Manticore if you want to try it out, right? But I think um, Nitrock is much better, but well, if you have different ideas on Magroth and Zyda, I think uh, Syndrion and Fragar will work totally fine with Shadow Manticore. It's normal attacker, and yeah, more heals you get, you stay alive longer, why not, right? But Syndrome and Fragar are mainly for crit rate, crit damage, normal attacks, not much of a healing, but still... That should be my number two choice. First is Magroth and Zayda, and second one should be Syndrome and Fragar. Now it's time for us to look at the second warpet, which is a Blade Manticore, which is really, really interesting because that's a cavalry warpet, right? It's a cavalry warpet, and let's say Cavs like to have rage accumulation. Let's see if that has it. Uh, it's pretty big scale in terms of words. Let's let's try to understand. Gleaming Blade deals physical damage to target and to surrounding legions when the legion's cavalry heroes dealing rage skill damage. Already, I like it, right? Damage legions. Damage legions gain impalement. Blade Manticore will prioritize attacking legions with implement and deals 5% more warped skill damage to them for 6 seconds. Kind of something like a time period damage like a poison but five five percent more is great right i think it's amazing honestly um, cavalry players wanted more warpits for itself because i think golden rock was the only one which was great and i think blade manticore with this skill is already amazing now, intense uh, gleaming blade simply <clears throat> additional damage and we need to say that main skill and the Second main skill is both agility, which is normal because agility is mainly for calves. Um, Advanced Gleaming Blade deals 5% more warped skill damage to legions with implement. Well, okay, I'm not really sure if all of these three are important to have, but at least two uh, should be the mandatory. Here we are getting additional damage, and here we get an additional damage. I think like even solo gleaming blade should be fine, but yeah, at first we need to try out the, like all the ideas which I'm saying right now is just ideas, right? So I think blade manticore just only with gleaming blade because I like what I have read here. Um, rage skill, I think that this should be totally fine to use if you are cavalry player, right? In terms of other skills, well. Um, as a cavalry player, I'm not really a cavalry player, but my idea behind cavalry gameplay is that you have to deal damage by your skill damage, right? With your range. That's why I think first attack is always great to have on your cavalry warpits, uh, simply because like there is a 40% chance uh, to deal damage to target when your deputy casts a rage skill, right? And I think cavalry uh, hero pairs are using their rage skill more more often than anything else. That's why I think first first attack is a great skill to have, even like intense first attack because it's a trigger chance, right? A higher trigger, more damage you're gonna deal. And if you want to have like additional damage by first attack combo, you are getting advanced first attack. But unfortunately. Now we're gonna have only one available agility skill if we're gonna take all the core skills because main skills are two of the main skills are agility. That's why you it's your decision to make, right? And let's see if it will be correct. Uh, Fatal Bite is great, but I won't gonna be going for chain strike. I won't gonna be going for intense chain strike. I don't think that chain strike synergy will be great for this warpit uh, because it's a cavalry warpit and you are dealing damage mainly by skill. 
And that's why I think by with the core skills which we have, uh, which is a Gleaming Blade core skill synergy, I think first attack synergy should be totally fine on Blade Manticore. Plus, in addition to that, uh, if you're gonna have um, strengths, uh, more strengths, uh, like if you have a, at least one strength skill you know, to add, I think Fatal Bite will be fine, quick damage uh, percentages, and in general I think Fatal Bite is like universally really, really great uh, skill to have on your fighter, uh, fighter warpits, right? In terms of hero pairs, I think there will be a wider choice where you can use the um, Blade Manticore. Uh, the only like, cavalry hero pair heroes which I don't think this warpit will be great are flying units such as Forondil, because Forondil likes to have flying warpit and the Blade Manticore is not flying. Other than that, I think even like, let's start from the beginning, right? Emerys and Bakshi. It will be amazing because this hero pair is centered around the rage. Uh, rage accumulation speed uh, here on this second skill, and even Bakshi has rage accumulation speed bonus. So, a Blade Manticore with Emerish and Bakshi should work perfectly fine. Even a Theodore with Emerys is going to be fine. I think this hero pair will work perfectly fine together. So, we already have two hero pairs where Blade Manticore will work. Uh, and did you have your decision to make which hero pair you are going to run? But I think the best one um, so far should be, of course, Tobin and Urag or Urag and Tobin. These hero pair are tanky, and of course they love to have uh, more rage accumulation in order to deal high amount of damage. 1.6k damage from the Urag and 1.6k damage from the Tobin. I understand there is none of the rage accumulation speed uh, skills uh, other than Urag's fourth skill, which has 10%, but I think this Blade Manticore will be great in, with this hero pair, and I think simply because we did not have m more pets in the game uh, for a while, and heroes came out, we kind of missed a couple of new heroes with the new Orbits. I think in terms of looks, they look amazingly well, it fits perfectly well with the theme of the Call of Dragons, and I hope uh, it will have a lot of usage in the battlefield. I can't wait to try it by myself, and of course, guys, I'm always excited to hear your opinion about these two warpits, right? In terms of theme and in terms of colors and how they look, I think we can all agree that they look fine and good even. And I think even like Shadow Manticore with Magroth and Zyda will work amazingly well. And Blade Manticore, well, generally, I think with almost every single cavalry hero pair will be fine with the Blade Manticore. I'm still expecting more Orpids, honestly, um, especially when new mages will come out. And yeah, as I have mentioned, a Orpid section and Orpid feature is one of my favorites because there is a lot of diversity, a lot of cool things, and a lot of things to collect. And uh, you guys understand, I love collecting things. As always, guys, if you like the video and if you understood at least something new about this game, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more motivation to make more videos for this game. I wish everybody amazing day, morning, and night, wherever you are. We are going to see each other really, really soon. Bye-bye and luck.